Base pairing is the dominating force in both RNA structures and interactions. Structured RNAs play important roles in all types of cellular processes. For example, the catalytic center of the ribosome is entirely made up of RNA structures. Therefore, we need to study the structures to understand the functions of RNA. However, this has been an extremely challenging problem. Because we lack a basic understanding of how RNAs look in living cells, the first picture that often comes to mind is a plate of spaghetti. It's difficult to measure RNA structures in living cells for several reasons. First, most RNAs in cells are large, so which part base pairs with another? Second, conventional methods require purified samples, which are usually very small and static. This means that they may not represent the RNA inside of a cell. RNA molecules are also constantly changing in living cells, so we need to capture all the states of each RNA to get an accurate idea of its structure. To solve these problems, we created a method called Sorolin Analysis of RNA Interactions and Structure, PARIS for short. With PARIS, we can directly look at RNA double helices in living cells, know how nearly every nucleotide pairs, and see structures in individual molecules. To do this, we incubate live cells with Sorolin, which can make reversible crosslinks in double-stranded RNAs under UV light. Then, we purify the cross-link double-stranded RNA fragments, connect the two arms, reverse the crosslink, and sequence the hybrid RNAs. Each sequencing read represents a single molecule measurement of the RNA helix. The small size of the two arms makes it easy to see which base pairs with another. With Paris, we looked at the RNAs in three human and mouse cell lines and made a global map of the RNA duplexes for RNA structures and interactions. We call this the structurome and interactome. To show that these helices are important, we analyzed the conservation and covariation of base pairs in related species. We found that roughly 25% of the helices are conserved in evolution. So what does the RNA structurome look like? Our analysis show that, in addition to typical local stem loops, there are many long-range structures. Some of these span different exons and even connect the 5' end to 3' end. Furthermore, we found that these long-range structures are highly conserved between different species. Alternative structures have been shown to play important roles in cells. For example, just like a light switch, some RNAs can act like molecular switches to turn gene expression on and off. But these RNAs are difficult to find using conventional methods. Since Paris determines structures on a single molecule level, we readily identify large numbers of alternative structures. In fact, in the top 50 mRNAs, we found 20-40% to 40 of all structures to have alternative conformations. Since interactions between RNA molecules are also formed by base pairing, Paris can also identify these interactions in addition to their structures. Previously, to identify RNA-RNA interactions, we needed to know at least one of the interacting molecules. Also, past methods usually had lower resolution. With Paris, we don't need any prior knowledge of the interaction, and we can directly identify the interaction with high resolution. For example, the U8 snow RNA is known to be required for ribosomal RNA processing, but the target site is unknown. With Paris, we were able to determine the 20 base pairs in this interaction. We also found that this is conserved in evolution. We applied Paris to an important RNA called EXIST. This 19 kilobase long, non-coding RNA is essential for X chromosome silencing in mammalian development. However, it presents many challenges. First of all, the large size makes it difficult to get a full picture of its structure. Second, there are many repetitive regions, making it hard to pin down the exact base pairing regions. With Paris, we found that this RNA is folded into two major domains. Each is roughly a long stem loop, and the biggest measures up to 7 kilobase pairs. Part of the RNA that is essential for silencing, the repeat A region, contains 7 to 8 repeats. We found that these repeats form structures with each other, not by itself. These inter-repeat units bind the key silencing protein SPET. In summary, PARIS is a method for direct analysis of RNA base pairing, which underlies both RNA structures and RNA-RNA interactions. Our method determines base pairing with high resolution on a single molecule level, providing a global view of the RNA structurome and interactome.